hello there welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am doing another rotation of my pandos eyeshadows and oh my god is it an exciting one i am on a roll in panning eyeshadows and i'm so excited to share this uh progress with you so if you're interested in seeing uh how i got on uh, this month then just keep on watching do you like my t-shirt it has makeup all over it i got it in pennies um thanks to one of my friends because if it wasn't for her i probably even have i probably wouldn't even bat an eye on it and i think it's kind of cute especially for like makeup videos let's say okay but you have come here to look at my pandos eyeshadows update and can't believe i'm i can't believe it anyway let's start the first shade that i had in my trio this month came from the huda beauty rose gold and master palette and i got the shade fling and as you can see i have shiny pan in this guy i'm so excited about this now i didn't think i would hit pan in this particular shade because it's it's a weird formula it's one of those souffle kind of formula Hoda was saying whenever when she re-released this palette and you know i didn't necessarily know how deep the pans are i kind of had an idea because this uh shade shattered but you know I, I i didn't know because i never panned one of those shades and i did it and it actually only took me 10 times to hit pan on this eyeshadow now the way that i was using it i was either using my finger all um over my lid or i was using a fluffy brush let me see if i can find one one like this and i would put it on my outer corner and, and into my um uh, crease as a um as a crease shadow and that worked beautifully um it's not my favorite shade because you do have to work with it it is a specific formula that you know it's not the easiest to work with but i didn't mind it uh so yeah 10 uses and um hit pan on that and that means we are rolling that shade out and we're ro rolling something else in in its place uh, the next palette I had was another Huda Beauty. It was all Huda Beauty palettes uh, last month. And I rolled in the shade Infatuated, which was a glitter. Not my favorite thing, to be honest. But anyway, as you can see now, I did hit pan. I told you that I'm going to keep working on it until I have kind of worn it down evenly. And until, you know, I have significant pan. And yeah, I consider this worn down evenly and I consider it being significant pan but actually it only took me five times to reach that goal so not too much now if it happens that i roll in the shade excite which is another glitter in this palette i will skip it i am i am i'm not panning a glitter anymore the reason being is that i wear contact lenses and i found that those glitters do irritate my eyes i had to throw out almost a brand new pair of contact lenses because of how that glitter it irritated them um so yeah i am not gonna put myself through that again so five times to hit pan and yeah i probably am never gonna touch that shade again unless it's like on my face but yeah, that's a rolling out. And then the last shadow that I had came from another Huda Beauty palette. This one is the Naughty Nude palette. And I got the shade Tantric. And I actually hit my goal just today. So this is the shade that we're working on. And as you can see, beautiful pan. Now, I actually wasn't planning even on filming this video today. But because I hit pan in all of my shadows, I was like... You know what might as well uh it took me 13 times to hit pan on this eyeshadow um not too much uh but not too little either it is a very creamy shadow uh very kind of it's flaky very creamy it's very pigmented and gives a beautiful sparkle on the eyes i really enjoyed this shade um i really enjoyed using it throughout the month and you know I wouldn't be mad if I had to stay in for another month, to be honest, uh, because it was um, 
it wasn't a pain to use. I'm super happy about that. But you know what that means? That means we have a new trio and I just realized I haven't swatched none of these shades. So I'm just gonna do that now, going into the fling shade. I'm gonna swatch it here on my left hand. So this is fling really nice very pigmented like it's super super pigmented like kind of stains as you can see um so that's that then the um uh, glitter now i'm gonna have to kind of work that in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is the glitter it's a really beautiful glitter but like i said i am never going to put that near my eyes Ever again and then the beautiful shade tantric which I used all of, I have it all over my lid it was a beautiful beautiful shade I really enjoy it and it's so it's so glassy it's so shiny oh, I really enjoy it so this is a wash it looks like there so this was my working trio for July and yeah we get to roll out all of these shades and roll something new in okay so I have pretty random open here what I'm going to do is I am going to start screen recording <laughs> and uh, I am going to randomize three shades um, and actually I'm gonna move because you will be able to see what I'm randomizing anyway let's randomize three shades the first shade is number 278 is that another Huda Beauty um, shade I don't know next up is 94 okay and the last shade is 84 okay 278 94 84 okay so let's go to my actual um, spreadsheet and let's see number 278 number 278 uh comes from my so jaded palette that palette is always in this project always but it's the shade smoky quartz which is actually from what i remember a really beautiful shade so i don't mind it 278 if i could change the color yeah 278 278 smoky quartz i'm actually happy about that it's a really really beautiful shade so it's like a neutral kind of um taupey shade perfect for all over the lid uh, then number 94 comes from my uh style london angel palette oh it's a pink palette interesting i have never worked on a shade from this palette so i'm not sure how it's gonna go but yeah that's interesting okay style london angel palette and 84 comes from my sleek oh natural palette and it's the shade 9 i hope it's not a black if it's a black we're gonna roll out uh so yeah let me just fill that in um okay so let me just pull all of these um eyeshadows and we're gonna see and swatch them and see how they look Okay, so I have not looked at the palettes. I have not looked inside, even though the Style London one is see-through. I haven't, I, I just haven't looked at it. Anyway, the first sh uh, shade that we rolled in came from my So Jaded palette from Colourpop and we got the shade Smoky Quartz. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. So this is what Smoky Quartz looks like. Now, I had used it maybe once, maybe twice, I'm not sure. Um, oh, so beautiful oh my god such a pretty shade it is one of the real metallics in this uh, eyeshadow palette which i'm so happy to finally work on it's gonna be a treat i know i know that for sure and oh, i'm so happy happy this is gonna be all over my lid for sure for the next month and i'm hoping i can hit pan uh, on it because i'll be just so so happy anyway the next shade comes from my style london uh, palette which looks like this and i got the shade eight so ah oh, it's another shimmer <laughs> let's come together from uh left to right one two three four five six seven eight okay i guess we're gonna be working on uh 
shimmers again which is fine i'm hoping to get maybe one mat that would be nice wouldn't you think it's actually very similar to the fling shade uh, the formulas are a lot different this one is a little bit more sheer and um, just like a true metallic rather than this souffle sort of uh, formula I don't mind I have used this palette a little bit but you know it's not one that I reach for uh, because it, it's a monochromatic palette I like to have a variety uh, when it comes to my uh, palettes you know if I take them um, for an everyday use or something like that this isn't what I necessarily reach for, but I have used it a couple of times and I do like the formula. It's still in my collection, so it has to be uh, somewhat workable. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty interesting shade. Can't wait to put that. Uh, can't wait to just give it a try, I guess. And then from the Sleek Au Naturel palette, we rolled in the shade 9. So let's count together from left to right again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so it is this a very dark, cool-toned, uh, brownish, uh, grey, taupe sort of shade. I guess I asked for a matte. <laughs> I think I might be able to use this as a, this what it looks like, it's very sheer. Kind of do have to build it up quite a lot. Um, okay. I guess I will be able to use that in my um, eyebrows. That wouldn't be too bad. Or as a liner and as a um, outer corner shadow, I am definitely gonna find some ways to work around with it. But I really do like this color story. Uh, I can, I guess, I can use all of these shades together, or I can use them. Um, you know, maybe if I want just this shimmer or this shimmer, I can use it like that as well. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I am super excited about having a new trio and uh, letting this one go. And I, I'm just so happy. I think I am going to finish this project in December. So at the beginning of December, we're gonna have a finale. We didn't have a finale last year. I just kept going. Uh, but I think we're gonna have a finale uh, this year. And we are going to do a summary of all the eyeshadows that I hit pan on. And uh, then I'm just going to resume with a new trio in January. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, I see all of other YouTubers doing that. So, you know, I kind of, I think I want to give myself a month of a break, uh, especially in December, uh, to just kind of play with other eyeshadows. Um, but yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do. We're going to have a finale, a first finale ever um, in December. And then we're going to resume panning eyeshadows in January. But yeah, still a long way to go. No worries about that. Still a long way to go. I think we're going to still hit pan on a couple of different, um, uh, all, or on more eyeshadows before the end of the year. But yeah, I'm so, so excited. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a like. I don't know if I already said it, but never mind. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you very much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.